What's going on guys? It's Keen Sensor Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I'm sorry guys that I haven't been able to post videos lately in the past couple of weeks. That's because I've been so busy with college, so please forgive me guys. But uh, I wanted to kind of surprise you guys with a really cool video, kind of like a really nice uh, effect that you guys can apply to your vlogs or your videos, whatever you guys want to apply this really cool camera effect. On. So this is the effect that I got it from first. Let me go and show you guys so you guys can see the credit and everything. So I got this from FaZe Banks on his latest video and that is tipping my maid $10,000 emotional and towards like a minute and 30 seconds he shows this really cool effect with the Instagram uh, kind of uh, camera shutter effect. So let me go and just show you guys right now. Bro, that's up. Stack, bro. <laughs> so right there is the effect that I'm going to show you guys in today's video. So before I begin with the tutorial, be sure to leave a like, smash the hell out of that like button because, uh, I mean, why not? All right, guys, so jumping into Final Cut Pro 10, this is the video that I've used it on. This is Jesse's lookbook video, which is really nice. I would suggest you guys watch it and subscribe to him. He's a really cool guy, but I just decided this would be a perfect video just because everything works right, and it's a lookbook, right? So you're gonna be taking pictures and uploading them to Instagram. So that right there is the effect, as you can see. And then from there, it just goes into the iPhone uh, right there, which is pretty much a mock-up. All you have to do from here is just add a freeze frame. Go to edit and go down to add freeze frame. So what this is going to do, it's going to go ahead and add a freeze frame, which is pretty much like a still image. Wherever your playhead is at, that's where it's going to add the freeze frame. So from here, you want to, let's see. So we go from here and then it stops right there. And let's see where the, I think it ends right here, the sound effect. Also, everything that you guys need will be down in the description so you guys can download it. Everything is for free in this video, which is awesome. So let me go ahead and just cut this and delete everything else. So it goes from here and it just resumes the video as you can see. So I'm gonna disable the audio just for now. This is what it's gonna look like. And then it just keeps on going. And uh, it just continues playing the video which is really, really nice, a really nice thing you wanna do. So after, you've done, so after you've done that, you wanna make a copy of the freeze frame. So press Command C, Command V to paste this and drop that on top. So from here, all you have to do is go and import the stuff you will need, which is pretty much the uh, iPhone mockup. I just looked up iPhone 7 mockup and I think it was the second image. Save that, make sure it's a PNG and drag that right on top of that clip. Go ahead and cut it to the end of that one and then it's going to pop up like this. I wouldn't scale it. I would just leave it how it is. But if it's too big, go ahead and just scale that down to about this size and that will be just good. The next thing you want to go ahead and do is just take a screenshot on your iPhone. So all you have to do from here is just take a screenshot on your iPhone of the YouTuber or if it's yourself. Go ahead and do that as well and uh, just do that and then send it to your computer and then drag that and import it into Final Cut and then drag it into the timeline. Drag that on top of the, uh, or sorry, you want to go ahead and make that in between the iPhone mockup and the actual freeze frame. So from here, we're going to go ahead and cut that and also delete it. So then we have something like this, which is what we want, okay? And then the last thing would be the, the uh, flash effect, which is pretty much the camera lens flare. So just look it up on Google and drag that right above the video which is gonna be around here, I believe. Actually, just drag this all the way on the top like this. So everything is pretty much layered, which is what you want, right? So once you've done that, all you have to do is go ahead and just disable the first one for now. So from here, all you have to do is select the iPhone mockup. We're gonna create a mask so we can see through it. So all you have to do is go into the effects, go ahead and go onto the all video and audio and just look up mask, drag the draw mask onto that clip and then go into the inspector window and then here we have the draw mask. So from here, all you have to do is just kind of zoom in a little bit so you can see what you're doing. So all you have to do is just click to add a point on each edge. And I'm going to go ahead and hold shift to keep the line straight like that. All right. So make sure you complete the path there and then click invert mask. And now you can see through it, which is what we want, right? Cool. So all you have to do is just go back to fit so you can see everything. Click on the screenshot and go ahead and just kind of uh, make this a little bit smaller. So we're gonna go to the transform and scale and just scale this down 
so it fits in here and you might want to go ahead and and if you didn't mask it correctly as you can see even if I scale it you have this black edge so that can be a problem so just go back and adjust the scale so click on one point and click on the uh, or hold shift to select both points and just drag this down like that uh that's pretty good for me I, I you know this is just a tutorial you guys want to spend more time with this so it's perfect so anyways that's what we want right but the image is not the same as the background so how do we fix that same thing we're going to add another mask so go to the effects go to draw mask and drag that onto the screenshot clip now go into the draw mask in the inspector window and go into the uh, you're going to have the pen tool selected to add a control point, which is what you want. Go ahead and zoom in again and go to the 100% and click on each of the edges. Sorry, don't click on the edge. Select only the picture. So right there and hold shift to keep the line straight. You can always adjust these later. So right there, which is what we want. Then click invert mask to select the opposite. And now you can see through the iPhone, the screenshot, and then now you can see the actual image. And that looks really dope. So once we're done with that, I'm going to go to the fit. And this is why we copied it because we're going to be shrinking this down. And we want another, we want the same image to stay, the background we want to stay the same, but the image itself we want to scale. So that's the reason we made a copy. So go to the transform option. So now if you move it, you can see that we, we have the other copies. So I'm going to go ahead and just scale this down. So if we were to take a picture, like on Instagram. Then you have this really long, weird uh, scaled option and you only want the actual image to be in inside of here. So how do you fix it? Well, all you have to do is just go to the transform button right here, click the down arrow and click on crop, then click on the edges here and just drag that right there. So do the same thing right here and that will kind of get rid of that weird little edge there. So just click and drag this around here. Let's go back, so fit. And we still have this bit to fix, so I'm going to go to the crop. But this dumb thing is on the way, so I'm going to move this up a little bit. Let's see. I can move it this way. There we go. All right, so now I can move it this way. The background image inside of the Instagram post while it's in the background. So that, that is honestly really cool. I didn't even think of this. So once we're done with this, we want to go ahead and add a blur. So to do this, all you have to do is go to the effects, go to the blur. Then all you have to do is just kind of get rid of this. So select everything and just move it over there and just delete that if you want the background to keep moving. That's all up to you. I think I liked it this way a little bit more, but you have the, uh, the other option as well. So anyways, go to the blur and go to the blur, go to Gaussian and drag the Gaussian blur on here. So before we do that, we're going to go ahead and create a, another cut right there. So it only applies it to this one clip, drag the Gaussian blur there, but then there's too much blur. So go to the Gaussian in the inspector window and then just decrease the amount a little bit, but not too much right there is good. And then from here, all your, you're pretty much good to go. So from here, you're pretty much good to go. From here, all you have to do is just enable the clip again with the flash, change the uh, blend mode to, I think it's screen or lighten, whatever you guys want to do. I think lighten is the best, or sorry, screen is. The last thing that you want to go ahead and do is add that flash, that white flash. So to do that, we're going to go into the... Uh, titles and generators go to the generators go to the white and drag that on top of all of your footage so then you want to go ahead and just cut it till the very top so you can see that we have a lot of layers I'm pretty sure there's another way of editing but this is the way I like to work so from here all you have to do is go to the published parameters select the color and do bright white so go back to the um, video inspector there and then here is where we actually add the transition. So press Command T. And then this one we're going to add on top. So enable that one as well. And let's see how this looks like. All right, guys. So once you're done with that, this is what you should have. And if you've completed everything that I've showed you guys, this is what it should look like. And if you want to edit these, just go ahead and click and drag these outwards a little bit so that they're spaced out. And yeah, so let's see what it looks like. Now, if that is like taking, like, we want to make sure that these two are longer. So select these and just drag it out like a tad more like that, eh, something like that. So drag these outwards a little bit so that they're longer than the flash. So you can still see the effect. 
and then go back and cut it till here. Press Command C on the video that has the blur. Select the new one that you've made the cut, press Shift Command V, and then click on Paste. And this will just copy and paste the blur. So if I go ahead and render everything out, this is what it should look like in the end with everything finished. So if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to smack that like button or just hit the like button. I mean, that works too. Comment down what you guys want to see next. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.